Everybody loved my mom's cooking, and I used to tell her, you know, the girl, you could you could sell this food, and, and she used to tell me that you just a son like your mom's cooking. I said, no, everybody like your cooking, you know. As I got older, I acquired a, a little uh, motel. I turned it into a little restaurant. And she said, well, what are we gonna call it? I said, we're gonna call it Bertha's Kitchen. She ran with it. You know, I had no idea that it would blossom into what it did. It takes a small woman to run a restaurant like this. It's all women running the business, starting from my mom to me and my sisters and our daughters, and even my granddaughter is running the restaurant now. We know for the lima beans, the fried chicken is the number one. It's something about the, the crust, they say, and cornbread. Every meal has to have a cornbread. We can't tell you the secret to the recipe, but it is good. It's a lot of love in it. I've had the opportunity of knowing Miss Bertha from the day she opened. See, they've been one of the staples uh, in this community for years. I can tell you there's been a many of, of hungry person fed out of Bertha's at no cost. So if you're homeless or you only have a few dollars and you want a meal, we can't cut you out for just not having enough. And that's the kind of thing that my mom would do. You know, when I found out that we was going to receive the award, the first thing I can think about is my mom. It just means, you know, that she sacrificed for us. You know, the sisters and our daughters. She made it possible for us. But I love her for doing what she did and bringing us to this point. She always used to throw her hands up like this and say, we did it.